What's up you guys, Jared Hoffman here. Today we're covering the best Maxxis tire combo on my brand new 2022 Trek Slash 9.7. Now, if you guys have been following along, you guys will know that I've been upgrading this bike, trying to make it as best as I possibly can, that perfect shredder for the type of riding that I do. So today I'm gonna talk you guys through the tires that I chose. We'll talk about why I chose to upgrade for my stock Bontrager tires. We'll go over the exact tire combo that I chose right here, the casing, the compound, the size, and hopefully help you guys if you're trying to decide what tire combo is good for you. So keep on watching, smash that like button. Let's get into it. I got the Asagai up front. I got the Maxxis Minion DHR2 in the rear. Looking at the tread on this rear tire, you can see the max amount of grip that I got. Really big side knobs, really big center knobs, nice even pattern, even amount of grip and bite on the rear tire right there. Coming up to the front, you can see just like the ultimate grip right here from Maxxis with those huge side knobs on the Asagai. All sorts of little siping right here. Nice center knobs extra smaller center knobs right here i mean you got plenty of grip and that's kind of what i go for with this tire combo and the type of terrain that i ride here down in oregon with some really steep downhills and some steep climbs on the way up this definitely isn't the fastest rolling combo but it's got the best grip and really gives me that performance that i like and that's really why i switched away from the Bontrager tires that come stock on this bike. So on this bike, it comes stock with the XR5 2.5 inch tires front and rear. And those XR5 tires, when you first get a bike like this, riding my Trek Slash, I will admit they're really fast rolling and they have a decent amount of bite, a decent amount of grip. However, I slid out two different times caused some gnarly crashes. I'll show you the one right here where I hit head first into a tree. Now I knew all along when I got the Trek Slash 9.7 that I was gonna upgrade the tires. However, I thought I would, I would be a little bit smarter with my upgrades and at least wear those Bontrager XR5s down a bit more before I upgraded. And then after those two slams, just realized, you know what? Some upgrades are just worth the money and that's really the only knock I have on these Maxxis tires. They're definitely not cheap. However, I think it's well worth your money and well worth your time to watch videos like this to really figure out what's the best Maxxis tire combo for you. So for me, the best Maxxis tire combo, like I already said, is that DHR2 in the rear and the Asagai up front. But as we all know, it's not that simple just knowing the brand Maxxis or the type of tire with the Asagai and the DHR2. There's all sorts of different casings and compounds and things to consider. So I just thought I would show you guys exactly what I got. So if you guys wanted to go this route, you guys will kind of know. In the rear, I got the 29 by 2.6, 29er wheels, 2.6 inch width. And these are on the 3C Max Terra which the three C, if you guys aren't familiar, that means there's gonna be three separate compounds within this tire. There's gonna be the initial lower rubber that's gonna have that kind of stiffer compound. There's gonna be a medium rubber that runs up part of the way through these knobs right here that gives you kind of enough stiffness to where these things aren't folding over. And then there's a very top layer, that third compound, that's gonna give you that nice soft part of the rubber that's really gonna let this tire grip in. And that's kind of where that siping works additionally as well for this knob just to kind of grip into the turns, gives you that kind of ultimate grip. These are the EXO Plus. I do have EXO Plus because I am running the Cush Core tire inserts. So if I wasn't gonna run the Cush Core tire inserts, I definitely would run a double down casing in the back. Now just real quick to cover the different casings in case you guys aren't familiar, EXO is the lowest casing that Maxxis offers. And EXO casing is kind of the bare minimum casing. It's just got one single layer, 
not a lot of pinch flat or flat protection. However, it's gonna give you the fastest, lightest kind of tire. That's what you're gonna use for more of like your cross country type tires. EXO Plus is that kind of next grade up where they add in just a little bit additional rubber in this tire, a little bit more flat protection, a little bit stiffer sidewalls, and normally, EXO Plus would be more of like a trail bikes tire. However, once when you add in the Cush Core tire inserts, even for an enduro bike like this, I felt that EXO Plus was enough. Um, I'll go ahead and do some long-term reviews after I've been riding these tires more and tell you if I think you really need double down in the rear, even though you got Cush Core inserts. Lastly, real quick, we're just couple to cover the uh, TR right here for tubeless ready. You should see that on any of these modern tires. Tubeless ready rims, tubeless ready tires. Yes, I am running this tubeless and I got those Cush Core inserts. You can see right here, just looking at the grip, we'll kind of look at it this way and the way it rolls right here on the back like i already kind of covered this dhr2 has got a ton of grip really nice tall center knobs nice tall outside knobs and that's one of the things that i really like about this kind of tire i don't like that wandering bite point i don't like the type of tire that's built to where you kind of like slide into a corner then it finally grips this DH Minion DHR2 is gonna give you that consistent grip the whole way through the turn, the whole way through the motion of that tire as you're angling it over, and you're really gonna get the max amount of grip I think you can get from any tire on the market with this Minion DHR2 in the rear. Let's go ahead and move now up to the front. You got the Asagai once again. 29er right here so i got the 29er front and rear setup 2.6 now this is something some of you may notice you're like jared you got 2.6 front which is a little bit wide some people will only maybe run like a 2.5 in the front and you got a 2.6 in the rear which sometimes you would run like a size smaller in the rear in fact i have ran before a 2.5 up front and a 2.4 inch tire on the width that is in the rear and i did like that setup however i'm kind of going for the maximum grip maximum like monster trucker enduro bike that i can just smash through everything so we're going to be trying out the 2.6 front and rear on this and once again on that long-term review video i'll let you guys know what i think about that however let's just go ahead so asagai mainly designed for front tires from maxis people do run these front and back but usually you'll see an Asagai up front paired with something like a DHR2 in the rear like I have, or maybe something a little bit faster rolling in the rear like a Dissector or something like that. However, we've got the Asagai up front. Once again, 3C, Max Terra. I think I already beat that one to death. EXO Plus casing up front. I do have the Cush Core front and rear on this bike. EXO Plus casing, even if I didn't have the Cush Core, I've ran EXO Plus casing up front and double down in the rear. And even riding in some super gnarly bike parks with some really sharp rocks like they have at Mount Bachelor up in Oregon. I've had no issues with that. So EXO Plus is probably the heaviest I'll ever go in the front. And once again, like I said, you could go double down in the rear, but right now I'm running EXO Plus casing front and rear with the Cush Core and the tubeless ready right there once again. Let's go ahead and take a grip, a look at the uh, grip on these tires and just massive, massive center lugs, outside lugs. I mean, it's just these knobs will just grip and bite into everything. And that's really what I'm looking for and why I think this is one of the best tire combos you can have, especially for an enduro bike like this Trek Slash 9.7 with the Asagai up front, the Minion DHR2 in the rear. I hope I covered enough. I really wanna try and keep this video short, sweet, to the point, not waste any of your time. So now I'm gonna jump down into the comments. Go ahead, leave those questions below and please leave a comment below if there's anything I forgot to mention or any kind of comments or concerns you guys have about the information I'm putting out. We can use that comment section below to kind of just keep this video growing, keep the comments going and keep people more informed on the best Maxxis tire combo for their bike. Hey you guys, thanks for watching. Get out there, get stoked, go ride and have some fun people.